quarter after five, September 2nd, it's Friday afternoon, cleared from work. Um, this hive I did a quick check on recently, I got down into the second box, found the brew chamber. And what I know is it's absolutely loaded with mites. So today's objective is go see what's down in these bottom two boxes, I didn't get that far, and uh, put a mite treatment on it. That's what I'm working on. A little smoke in the entrance. The smoker's not working too good today, so. We'll put a veil on and we'll see what happens. If I need a suit, I'll put one. I got one right here. I'm gonna try and go this route. My inspection forms don't have the second side printed. Don't know why. Just gonna have to take notes manually. A handful of bees on the cover. Left my smoker up front. I actually want to go right into the bottom box, so I'm going to see if I can take two off at a time and then go down to the bottom, make my observations. If I can leave these top two together, I'll do that. So let's see what I can get. I heard a very audible buzz when I cracked the box, so I disturbed them. That's why I put a little smoke in there. It's fairly heavy, those two boxes. Tons of bees across the top inner cover here, or across the top of the frames. I'm not going to mess with them. This feels very light what I have here. So I'm wondering if there's even any bees down in the bottom. Fairly light there. See a reasonable amount of propolis. Thing is really glued together. See a lot going on on this frame. So frame two, just drawn comb, both sides. See one hive beetle on the inside. Two bees. Yeah, this box is pretty much empty. First frame looks like the. Second frame, nothing going on. Frame three. Small amount of pollen. Pollen on the second side. B 
Bees look a little nervous. Going for number four. Little bit of drawn brood. Otherwise empty comb. Some larvae in this larva and some brood. Just a quick look to see if I see a queen. No queen. Just a small handful of uh, drone brood on the top of that frame. Frame five. Drone brood across the top. Look at there. Some pollen, very small amount, some brood, small amount. Quick scan for the queen, she's not here. Pollen on the far side, lots of it. So I'm expecting I'm gonna get into some brood here. And what I need to do here is look and see whether or not there is any brood down here. Cause I'm gonna put the Apivar strips in and I want that to be somewhere near the brood or where the population is. Again, more pollen down here. Totally packed with pollen on the far side of six. There's an albino drone. Never seen one of those. Or at least the lightest one I've ever seen. Take a look at that. Look at that drone right there, what color it is. I don't know if it's sick or weird or what. That's, that's unusual, look at that. Different color, I'll put them back down. just to make sure he shows up on the camera. Very strange. Never seen one that looked like that. In contrast, they should look like this one. Even this one's got some light colors to it, but at least it has a dark background, so. Frame seven, packed with pollen. Frame seven, far side pollen through about the first half, small patch of brood, and then pollen on the outside. So this has abundant pollen, this hive. More than I've seen in a lot of them this time of year. All pollen all the way through on frame eight. Completely packed with pollen on the other side of frame eight. I'm gonna get one more. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same as all the other ones. Loaded with pollen, no queen. Somewhat empty, no resources on the far side. So my guess is that last one is empty. That's it, I'm done. I've seen all I need to see. I really wanted to do a deep inspection, otherwise I wouldn't have gone this far. But now I know what's down here.
Now I had a fairly difficult time getting the boxes apart, so I'm going to get this burr comb off the top so they don't build bridge comb from it. This is likely why it was so hard. Since I don't have a lot of bees up on the top, I'm just going to zip this off very quickly. There is propolis here too. I'm going to go get some of the heavier stuff. Okay, wax is gone. Quick head of this propolis that's here. Don't get too crazy about it, that's enough. Alright, so I'm not going to put Apivar in this. I'm going to put it in this one. I got a lead, a lot of bees over here on the side. I'm just going to put a little smoke here so I can drive them back in so when I set the box down I don't crush them. Some of them are on the outside, they'll figure their way back in. But at least I clean that off. Okay, had one stuck on my high tool. Same thing here, I'm just going to scrape the top off the wax real quick while they're all set. I'm just taking my time here making sure I don't crush any bees and set off any pheromone alarm. Where I have bees I go really slow and you can see I just picked one up on the hive tool. So. Okay, I'm going to smoke these bees down so I can go get the frames and see what I have. Again, there's not a lot of stores in here. It's pretty pretty lightweight, this box is. They're moving all over the place. So the weight is definitely in the top boxes. Okay. Going after frame number two. Nectar stored in one part. This is set up to be a brood frame. It's got empty through the middle and nectar stored. And there's a hole right through. Just looking to see if I can find evidence of eggs. I don't see any, but the fact of the matter is the light's not very good. Nectar on this side, again, set up for a brood frame. What I mean by that is, there's nothing in this storage area right here. It's all stored up and around the outside, which is pretty typical when they're getting ready to give a spot for the queen to lay. So this is prepared for the queen. When the queen starts laying, she'll have a place to go to. Frame number one. Frame number one is totally glued to the side of the box here through bridge comb. There's a little bit of nectar stored to the outside. No queen on this frame. Lots of nectar stored on this one. 
three quarters of the frame covered with nectar on frame number one. Quick scan, no queen. Going to put it back in the same orientation that I found it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to scrape that shoulder off so that I could get these freed up a little more. Number three. If I'm shouting at you, forgive me. I just figure the camera is not going to pick me up as well, and I want to make sure that I get it. It's just an empty frame, handful of bees, not a lot going on here. A little bit of pollen stored here throughout, not a lot going on. There is one queen cup. It's got nothing in it. Quick scan for the queen. She's not here. Again, I'm just going to scrape this shoulder down here so I can get these frames a little tighter and not have such a hard time scraping them out next time. A little housekeeping. Next frame, frame four, near side, full carpet of brood. No stores around the outside, some drone brood around the bottom. Capped brood along the center bottom and full with egg and larvae all the way through the rest of the frame. No sign of a queen. Definitely a brood chamber right here. Cleaning the top of the frames off a little more. Frame five, near side. Cap brood. Good majority of it. No thing, nothing stored up in the outside edges. Looking for a queen, don't see one. Far side. Eggs, larva, all the way through. Some pollen stored, no nectar. I wish I had my other hive tool. Frame six. Brood all the way through. Some capped. A lot of very large size larva. Probably capped any second now. Far side, some drone brood. No queen. Lots of capped larva and uncapped, and there's pollen all the way throughout this frame. So that's a, a brood and resource frame.
somewhere along the line and you saw it, I didn't, I'm dropping nectar because there's nectar all over the top of the bars here. So it fell out when I turned something over, but trying to be hasty. Cap brood all the way through, carpet on this frame. On seven, carpet on far side of seven too. Completely full, I see a bee with bright orange pollen. And there's pollen stored up in the corners. On a quick scan, no queen on this frame. Just making sure. Going after eight. Brood all the way through pollen. This half of the frame is cap brood. Second half on this side is all pollen. This side is All larvae ready to go. So this is going to be a full brood frame right here. Far side has the same thing. The queen has literally just been right here. It's all very juicy with larvae and eggs. Quick scan for the queen. Don't see her on this face. Don't see her on this face. No queen. Let's go peek at nine. Nine is full of pollen all the way through. No queen. On the far side of nine I have pollen all the way through and no queen. I'm going to guess 10 is the same thing so I'm not even going to look at it. Alright I'm done with this. That's as much as I'm going to do. Should have brought my frame hanger. Sure hope the queen isn't down there on the ground somewhere. Not my brightest idea here. I'm going to set this here and let them kind of settle their way back in. Okay. Happy with what I see so far. Not too not too bad. I always handle this stuff with gloves. I don't have any today. Very bad form on my part. But I will make sure that I do not touch my face, hands, anything after I handle this stuff until I get home and clean up.
don't use the tabs on these. Always snap the tab back in and use a nail. Never use the tabs because the tabs make it sit sideways, it lays across the comb. And on the nail they suspend and hang the proper way. Now what you're supposed to do is put these where you're going to see the concentration of bees. And I know when I opened this hive, all the bees were wide open through this box. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to put it here. You're supposed to put two per chamber, brood chamber box. And since this is an all medium hive, these two mediums constitute one chamber in my estimation. So I'm going to put this down here. And I just want to make sure that I can get it through without any difficulties. And I'm making sure I have my frames tight and centered. key here is that the bees have to have contact with this stuff. Okay, that's it for this box. What I'm going to do is smoke it, put the other box on, and then put the other two strips in that top one. I just want to scoot some of these bees off so I don't crush them. Boxes are lined up well. Okay. These two boxes are quite heavy. Scrape some of the propolis off. So just the other day I went through this box, these two boxes, and I have notes on them. So I'm not going to do anything but just put the treatment on.
Not sure if you can see it, but there are a large number of bees in here all the way through. Every frame all the way down. I can't see down into the frame but a few inches because there's bees all the way through it. And they're all collected here up on the top. I see some of them scenting, which is good because that just means that there's a... Uh, I got a problem here. As I go down, I'm hitting a frame of the one underneath it. So that means they're not centered the same way, which is a travesty. Up. Maybe there was something in the way, but it's fixed itself which is good news. Okay, let me smoke these girls, get them all back inside. We'll put the roof on and call it a day here. Mission accomplished. Come on girls, go down. Everybody retreated. Life is good. Got to get this hive on better footing. It's got a little wobble to it. The ground underneath has a little cup to it. Now this, this inner cover is completely flat. So if there were any bees and I set the roof on it, it's going to crush them. What I did was I have this stick on the inner cover. It's stuck to the actual inner cover. So when I put it down, it actually leaves the inner cover up a little bit and it also gives the hive a little ventilation. So there you go, all done with this one. Let me go tackle these other couple ones.